As you can see behind me, there's a ton of groceries that we have to pack away because there's a lot of preparation that goes into a barbecue and I'm going to do some prep before and I'm going to show you what I'm going to make before because it's delicious. I'm going to do some like vegan creamed corn and also this like chickpea salad which is going to be delicious. So yeah, stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Tomorrow is... Well actually I'll let Lance tell you what tomorrow is. What day is it tomorrow, Lance? Uh, it is Christmas. No, it's not Christmas. Easter. No. Yeah, but it's Memorial Day. No. Uh, guy, what is it? Fort? Uh, guy, fireworks day. Bonfire night. No. My birthday. No. Robbie's birthday. No. Ro Robbie's one week anniversary of life. No. Yeah, it is actually. Oh my god, it is. Yeah, I was right about that one, right? Fourth of July. Oh, it's also Fourth of July, which in America, is Independence Day and uh, independence from your nation, my dear. Uh, we said we will be independent from merry old England and that queen. You know, there's days where I think maybe we should invite her back. Just saying. Make America Great Britain again. But I'm going to the store to go and get some ingredients because tomorrow we're having a barbecue for 4th of July. So it will be Robbie's one week anniversary. Happy birthday, one week birthday, and we're gonna have some food and it's gonna be fun and there's gonna be family, it's gonna be friends, it'll be really lovely. Now we get to choose what's gonna be on the barbecue. Some sausage. Sausage. And we just got back from the grocery store, or the shop, or whatever you wanna call it. I'm like so American English weird at the moment. And it's now time to unload the car, which might take some time. So everything's unpacked, and I'm just gonna show you the receipt and how long it goes on for because it is just going on and 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 on. Who knew all the things that you'd need for a barbecue? But I'm gonna get started with the first dish that I'm gonna prepare for a side and that is gonna be a vegan chickpea salad. Excuse me? <laughs> what, do you, what do you think you're doing? Uh, I'm just, um, I, I, <clears throat> I think, uh, you, you got, you've done very well on the red, white, and blue shopping thing, but I need to make sure that this is not British, like, Union Jack flag, red, white, and blue. This has to be, this is 4th of July, it has to be American flag, red, white, and blue. Did you check that? It says patriotic, but who knows, like, who actually knows what country? I mean, don't you want to check it before we have guests come? Well, check it. My phone's ringing now. Check it. I'm going to be making sure that Robbie is not wearing American flag. Put it that way. Hi, Mum. Yeah, I'll close the gate. Okay. Bye. Love you. Bye. What? Okay. Bye. It's Papa. Papa is heating up some milk because, you know, it's time to eat and eating for Robbie. It's the most important thing. Or else, or else he'll eat his hand. And it seems to be the only thing that he likes doing at the moment is eating, sleeping, and pooping. Pooping! That's his favorite activity, I think. Mind so. you! So while Lance is feeding Robbie, I thought I would make the chickpea, curry chickpea salad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off. Eat, sleep, poo, repeat. Eat, sleep, poo, repeat. Eat, sleep, poo, repeat. Eat, we're making sleep, something poo, that kind repeat. of resembles what comes out at the minute, so. I think I just felt something that looks a lot like hummus gurgle out of our son's butt. Starting with hummus. Ooh. Chuck some hummus in. Oh yeah, that's it. So we've got some hummus in there. We are gonna thin the hummus out with some lemon juice. Gonna mix that around nicely. We are then going to add some garlic powder. In it goes. Then we're gonna add some curry powder. In it goes. We're then gonna add some mango chutney. In it goes. Give it a bit of a mix. Once we mix that together, that's gonna be a sauce, so set that aside. But then what we need to do is get your chickpeas, throw them into like a medium sized bowl, and basically, mash them down, or half of them down, with a fork. So get them all in, I've lost my fork in there, and give them a mash. Now that they've been like mashed up to that kind of consistency, now we're gonna add in 
of carrots, our green onions, salad onions, and then we're gonna add in our cashews, and we're gonna save the raisins that we're gonna put into a little bit at the end, but now we're just gonna mix that all in together. Oh, it's looking colorful, yeah. Then we're gonna add in our lovely curry sauce that we made from hummus. There we go. Yeah, that looks like what I just saw. I was just there. Was he, did he have a poopy nappy? He didn't actually. Oh, okay. That's, okay. that's what I saw like about five minutes ago, the last poopy nappy. But there wasn't poopy nappy number two. In that goes. That smells a lot better than what I just saw. It looks the same. Oh, don't lick your fingers. Oh, please. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> so then it's all in the bowl, and now we're gonna mix it together. Wait. Oh. Great. Mm. Now it's nice and mixed together. What we're gonna do is add in the raisins. And then we're also gonna add a good old crack of pepper and also some salt. Obviously all to taste, but I do like a lot of black pepper. So I think it, you know, brings out a nice little bit of bite to it. Uh, uh, mm, mm, oh, oh. And then obviously some salt to bring out the flavor because salt brings out the flavor. Right, and then we're going to mix that all together to get our final finished product. Here we go. So here it is, all finished and done. Now I get to try it. Okay, here we go. Because then this will be good in the fridge until tomorrow. Mm, 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 mm. Delicious. Side number one completes for 4th of July barbecue. Time to put it on a plate because when people get here, you want to be able to make it easy access, right? The next thing I'm going to make is creamed corn. Now it's a very American thing, but usually they use loads of double cream and it's like really, really fattening and it's like a bit of a mess. So instead, I'm going to use coconut cream or coconut milk just to make it a little bit healthier and also it just makes it slightly sweeter too. So you know, it's a win-win really. So this cream corn recipe is super easy. It is literally, for every two cups of sweet corn, is one can of coconut milk. And then you literally just let it all simmer down for about 15 minutes. And then once that's done, you add some spring onions, chives, curry powder, chili flakes, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. You've got an amazing creamed coconut corn thing and it's like delicious and American and it's, I'll show you. As you can see it's bubbling away so now we're gonna add in the curry powder, chili flakes, spring onions or green onions, salad onions, whatever you want to call it and then we're gonna put chives on top of the end to so hold them back for now. How many Texans does it take to start a barbecue? Well, when you, have, when you have a barbecue, it doesn't have a light on it. Can you grab me a towel or something? Oh, that looks thing. good. Did you fix it? Yeah, because I just... <laughs> you have incredible <laughs> hands, dude. <laughs> that looks like it's hot. It's a little hot. Okay, how many... Uh, you have incredible hands. It wasn't so hands. hot that you want to ruin a barbecue. You know what I mean? He knows how to use those things. <laughs> so people are starting to arrive for the 4th of July party and we've turned it into a sip and see. So people can sip on cocktails and see Robbie Ray, but don't touch him because we want to keep him healthy. Kind of fun idea, I think. Yeah, we're doing a, si we're doing a sip and see. What's a sip and see? Where you sip your drink and see the baby. Lovely! Yeah, right? Lovely. I know, but the burgers are ready now, so we're going to sit, we're going to eat and see now. So. Nana Debs is here as well. Cheers. It's Nana Debs. Cheers, so. Oh yes, brilliant. Loving every minute, every minute. <laughs> I've had extra cuddles just for you, so. Thanks, <laughs> Okay. Right, we're gonna go eat now, so I will speak to you later. Okay. Yeah, I'll speak to you later. Bye. 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 You know we're a weekend now, so. 
one weekend you realize there's things you need. And uh, who knew you needed goggles? But I think this is. Well, it, it does spray sometimes. In particular to having a son. And, uh, you know, this is. You know what this is for. Uh, the, what you got here? This is. What are they? This is. <laughs> Relax. This is, uh, I think this is this is when it's so bad you're just like you gotta bite down. No, no, no. That's a teething thing uh, for him. Yeah. And then you got a you got a little you got a bottle. bottle. You got a some Vaseline. Little Vaseline. You just, you just rub that. Oh my god. Take a little bit and you rub it around. Um, no nappy rash. And this. Uh, I guess that's for the nappies. This. Uh, yeah, just for the nappies. Or if like you're hungry while you're changing a diaper, you don't want to get your fingers uh, in the chips and things like that. So you can take this, you can get like a tortilla chip, you can dip it in the salsa on the 4th of July, you can get it in your mouth real quick, you can, you know, then go right back to work with these things. You can be like, alright, I'm gonna do this, and you can be like, I need a nacho in the guacamole in my mouth. Great. Well, I'm glad we got that covered. Get right back to this. That's the end of a fun 4th of July. It was good for our friends and family to meet little Robbie Ray. And, I mean, I know the Brits shouldn't really celebrate 4th of July, but it was fun. And I enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed learning to make some of my favourite dishes too. So, until next time, I will see you later.